finally got the hell out of Reno. We had a good time though, didn't we? Did you enjoy yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. I thought Reno was really nice. It was pretty relaxed. Nice people. Very cool, really retro town. And yeah, we met some, we've been meeting some brilliant people on the road. I'm in the heart of the Nevada desert. Actually in the desert, I'm not exaggerating at all. I think it's about, I don't even know what time it is, like four or five o'clock. Uh, I'm wearing my hoodie because it's because it is very cold. You can probably hear Tom practicing. We pulled over off the uh, off the highway. We gotta um, stand shift. I'm gonna pick up one of these uh, rocks and put it in the car. So if the car does make it home, I'm gonna have a rock from the Nevada desert. Yes, we are in Hawthorne, Nevada. Nothing much to report here. We just did, did like a little overnight stop and uh, chilled and got caught up in some uploading all our vlog content over to Nick. Yeah. And we did our laundry this morning. It took a little bit longer than planned. Well, we uh, let's just say we made a little bit of a mistake. At first, we put our um, dirty clothes and detergent into the tumble dryer. Yeah, bad one. Yeah, bad move. And here we are. We're about to hit it again. We were supposed to leave at ten, but it's now twelve forty. <laughs> takes us a while to get out of places. It takes a long time to get out of the desert, and we're actually not even getting out of the desert. We're going deeper and deeper into the desert. We're going to Rachel, Nevada. Right on the edge of Area 51, we're going to be staying at the Little Alien Motel. Mm -hmm. We're hoping to perform for people there. Mm -hmm. This has been a big part of the trip. I'm trying to talk to some UFO and alien enthusiasts, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. of which I'm one. I don't know what I believe, but I'm very interested in the culture around all this type of thing. So. Mm -hmm. And Tim, the other day in uh, where Reno. Was that? Reno, yeah, he, yeah. He, he had some good stuff to say. Yeah. And we painted it black, and we painted the alien face on it, and then <laughs> I shot it a couple times. Because you see, out in the middle of Nevada, oh. there's people shoot signs. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I shoot noticed signs, that. Right, it's part of being in Nevada. So we put a lot of bullet holes in it. Another thing in Nevada is it's open range. There's places without fences, so there'll be cows going across the road. Yeah. So there'll be a sign. Going into Rachel, we took our alien sign and put it on one of those free-range <laughs> cow signs. So when you're driving in, you see the free range, and then you see the aliens going into Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> and then we went to the little alien and hung out there and had, uh, you know, yeah. and the people there wait do you hear those are great conversations yeah, yeah, yeah. they're nuts they're they're brilliant nuts and the, you know they believe everything and yeah. you know and right over the hill is area 51 you can believe what you want there's a lot of people that say yeah. it's for sure there's stuff in there man mm. you know spaceships and uh that whole thing from roswell in the 50s when the aliens crashed in new mexico apparently yeah. there the bodies are in area 50 it's good man yeah i mean it is true that the, the government does a lot of testing of their experimental aircraft so yeah. i mean so we driven through there and seen stuff going on and you know uh, what is it who knows it's UFOs something's yeah. happening there We're I've seen stuff I believe that didn't make any sense driving through Nevada before. Yeah. A friend of mine I had a I had a sign one of my other restaurants I had for a long time I had this big metal sign that somebody had stolen off the fence outside of Area 50. The whole place, you can't go in there. Really? And the signs are, you cross this thing, we're going to shoot you. Or whatever. <laughs> I mean, there's different rules out there because they're it's very private, right? Yeah. And they're not screwing around. I'm in Rachel, Nevada. The little alien, I just met this guy Ira. Is that what? Yep, Ira. This man is a real like cowboy. Moving, shipping, uh, what's the term? Shipping, yeah. Shipping 1500 cattle across the desert. One hell of a job. Yeah, I'll do that. It's for six, six months and you grew up doing this. Whereabouts are you from? Miles City, Montana. So, how do you yeah, end up here? That's a hell of a good story about the entire Great American West. Yeah. Yeah. That's a funny looking <laughs> Like in the My boss, a Randy, I was really young when I quit school and went to Nevada. Yeah, yeah. So he kind of helped me out of Cowboy. Yeah, yeah. 
Do you do you grab them with the lasso and rope, or is that just the movies? Yeah, we were up all day today. Oh, oh yeah, that's amazing, man. So you, so this this current job, where did it start? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, you were miles from there, and then okay. where about you have to ship them to? Back to all of those places. So what do you think of Rachel and Bob? It's Rachel. Anything happen here interesting? I mean, I don't have to ask the question and just see you from the newsroom. Yeah, all kinds of cool stuff. Really? But not not anything that I didn't think was man-made, you know, just some really cool man-made shit flying yeah, yeah. around yeah, and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't think of any UFOs, aliens, cattle mutilations. Have you ever experienced a cattle mutilation? No. Man, you, we, just, we just arrived in town, you're the first person that we've spoken to. We're hoping that we can speak to some people. So if you find that almost any of the other locals that have yeah, been yeah, here yeah. for a long time, they've got at least one or two stories. Do you believe that's possible, or are you kind of skeptical? Awfully big universe, man. Yeah, it's possible. Yeah. But you never know, there might be a hundred million planets in the universe that have life on them, and every one of them is more primitive than ours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Uh, what kind of music are you into? Uh, if it's made out of cool guitar music, I like it. Yeah? You like uh, jazz music? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What, I just put the jazz station on on the TV once in a while. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You sing? But, yeah. Yeah, you write songs? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh great, well I'm going to switch off and let you have a drink, and hopefully we'll jam tomorrow night. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. I'll be here. Pleasure.